Let's start. This is Janos. It's Reverb Audio. And today I'm going to talk about the most important thing for those of you who want to build a loudspeaker for yourself. Uh, I've been receiving a lot and lots and lots of comments and questions to help you uh, figure out your loudspeaker, that you have something that you have set your mind upon and let me just help you uh, fine-tune it or give you ideas and uh, and I find that really awesome, really welcoming and, and, and I'm really really happy for all of you that you are so enthusiastic of uh, building something uh, but I have to share something really heart to heart with you is that uh, when we do that, when you bring some idea to me and uh, what I can do with it, I, I can add something little to it. But uh, that will not make that difference that what you see in this uh, movie scene from Bruce Lee when he's in the Hokudo Dojo uh, that uh, you want to have that experience that, that your white shirt transforms into Bruce Lee. It will not. The only thing that will transform a white shirt, white belt project into Bruce Lee is time and effort. And even with my input put in it, it's also time and effort. So if I just look at something and give you like off the bat a few tips, it will amount very little. Maybe it will help to elevate, let's say, a, a white belt level to a yellow belt or something. Some baby step. Just think about baby steps. Because uh, when you share something with me, I won't be able to spend months and months refining it. And, and that's what it takes, not just months and months but years and decades, even from someone like me, to get a project to the Bruce Lee level. What would be the equivalent of Bruce Lee if we were translating uh, that uh, martial art experience into loudspeaker experience? Uh, and what I am bringing to you guys with my projects that I'm sharing is I'm sharing to you those babies of mine whom I consider to be of Bruce Lee category. And, uh, and I'm, I'm really glad that you are bringing me like white belts and yellow belts and, and those projects that I look upon as belonging to those categories. And it's not because I'm conceited or something, just uh, I see how much effort was put into them, but I also see that to make a full-fledged, full-blown uh, baby, not just a newborn, but an adult out of it, to bring a project from a baby stage to an experienced adult stage, that requires years and decades. And the only way you are getting that from me is when you look at those babies of mine where I have spent years and decades building them. And, and for those ideas, when, when I just share a, a few ideas of the bat, that's the value. Minuscule. Nothing. Next to nothing. If you spend... Uh, 50 years online looking at uh, forums, uh, chatting with people, you are going to get about the same level of uh, experience or expertise to it. So, so this is what I really wanted to share with you, is that uh, uh, I am not like a magic uh, tablet or, or like a magician who can uh, transform something uh, into like infinitely better. But uh, my contribution is just something, this much. If I can contribute this little, then the difference will be this little. If my input to a project is years and years of birth, then that will be a huge, momentous, gargantuan leap. And that's why uh, if you want 
really to, to find loudspeaker projects for you that really just will just change your universe, just change your expectations, not taking a baby step and baby step by baby step and, and just keeping in the cradle, like uh, going rounds and maybe like leaving the crib one foot out, but really like growing up, then, then you must start uh, looking at loudspeaker projects that were developed by people who put the experience in them. Look into projects where the, the people working on them have been working on it for decades. And, and uh, look at it, how they, what's their experience with it? Does it fit with that system concept you have? Does it fit with the room acoustics you have? And if you have, do not have answers to these questions, then you are completely blind in the dark. You must seek out the answers to these questions first before you embark on any loudspeaker project to make it successful. So I really, really hope this little sharing will be successful to you. And for the next episode, I'm going to bring to you something really, really special. And that is my story, how I was as a beginner, what was my very first loudspeaker project and what made it a success beyond my wildest dreams. And what I can recommend to you is not just to copy the same thing that I did. You can copy it and, and that will be absolutely fantastic. And, and probably you will learn an extreme amount by doing that. But I will share to you my method how I arrived there. And by following that method, you can also get there. So please like my videos if you like them. <laughs> Subscribe if you have not yet already. And you can buy me a cup of coffee if you want to support uh, this little channel. Uh, all your supports are going back to uh, audio gear. And, uh, and improvements on the camera so that you can enjoy and hear, see the mic, uh, what I'm saying better so you have a better experience and, and I, I'm a little bit more facilitated to bring to you new ideas and uh, fun audio things. Cheers! Bye-bye!